Foxy here. Oh my goodness. Happy first day of spring. Yeah. It's the first day of spring. Yes. Well, Joe cleaned his stuff up. It's Foxy. Check it out. We have a cargo trailer loaded full of basically daffodils. It's the first day of spring. Happy first day of spring, everybody. Have a great day. Let's do that. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Potsy. It's Thursday morning. Oh, the security light just kicked on. It's raining. There's tree frogs in the background, or peeps, whatever you call them. I call them tree frogs. Anyways, I'm on my way to the fine company of Channel Walk over Meadville, PA, to pick up a crate of their flyer parts. You know, we use a big part of their flyer parts in about everything we built. Well, Dad made it. We're just getting ready to head to Channel Lock and have the truck loaded up. And uh, did you bring your duck suit for the rain? No, I'm going naked. Naked? <laughs> naked. With, with that, we're out of here. Channel lock, check it out. We think, Dad, we had lunch. Excellent. Yeah, we made it back. The rain, it kept raining. We stayed dry. These, these are so cool. There you go, Michael. Dragonfly bodies. We officially have more dragonfly bodies. But wait, they're also Willie Canoe Bird legs. All right. Hey everybody, it's Potsy. It's Friday morning. I'm working on Xander. Um, the reservoir tank is going to hold the propane pressurized at whatever 20, 30, 40 PSA prior to the puff of fire, so it only holds it for whatever, a few seconds, a minute, or whatever. It's not, a, it's not a long time, but I'm building the tank and I built it once and I just wasn't happy with it. And then, you know, I, I pressure tested it. And you know, put some fittings and stuff on it, and hooked the air hose to it, and made sure it wasn't leaking. It had a couple little leaks, and I fixed them. No big deal. Just wasn't happy with it. So what do you do when you're not happy with stuff in your potsy, in your garage, or your shop, or whatever you want to call it? Is clean, and it's Friday, and you have customers coming. You bring the mess outside, and you cut the crazy ends off of the tank, and you start all over. That's what you do. That's what you just saw. All right, I'm gonna try to make this tank and do it right. Usually if I screw something up the first time, I usually nail it the second.
already here. Here's that tank. Round two done. See, now I like this. Now it's been pressurized tested. No leaks. Good to go. We have our name. Dad's hard at it. Over there. He's reading the paper. <laughs> Anyways, I have the other end here welded in. Nameplate on it. Alrighty. Yay. The plenum for the propane before the puffer. Solenoid valve is done. Oh my goodness, it's Potsy. What did you guys just watch? You're going, I don't know, it went so quick. Well, let me show you. This is the tank. What this tank's going to do, it's going to actually go up inside of Xander, right in here. And then we're going to pressurize this tank with some propane, okay? The little side right here gets pressurized by a little 3 16 steel line coming in. This big 3 quarter inch line coming out is going to a solenoid valve which will open up and release the pressure into a sparking unit which will blow a fireball. What you saw me just making there in the video was this box right here, okay? This right here was a heating element. I found this at the scrapyard the other day down at Wallach's scrapyard in uh, Strasbourg. Anyways, it was like an aluminum heating bowl or something. I don't know. It had these weird springs right here. I don't know. It was really cool. But I was with my wife, Janice. I said, that'll work for keeping electronics in. And she was like, okay. Well, anyway, so what I did, as you saw, I drilled holes in the end here, and I put a fitting for half-inch conduit on both ends. And then I designed this piece and cut it out, formed these tabs on each side, and then drilled and tapped them for 1024. So we take these off, and the terminal block will fit inside there for the wire connectors for the sparker unit and this then will go right up here inside Xander's neck. 
Anyways, so it's aluminum. It looks cool. And look, it has the right thing written on it. Can anybody tell me what the right thing written on it is? Hmm. So, with that said, I'm waiting on Mr. Joe Bennett to show up this evening. And then we're going to add the crazy control system to this sometime tomorrow. It's a project I just finished up. I'm working with Potsy, built by Potsy Fabrication. This is a fireball system for Xander the Moab Dragon. Got a control box, got a solar panel, battery system, junction box for the fuel valve and the exciter. The exciter feeds the sparker. Push the button, fuel valve turns on, the sparker sparks, which will eventually light propane to a fireball out of Xander's mouth. Best part, you can do it wirelessly too with the key fob. But then I have to add some skin to it after we do that. But hey, if things go right, maybe tomorrow night, Saturday, we're fire. We're hoping this thing blows fire tomorrow night. All right, everybody, that's my week in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it. Here we are, Rockies. Elizabeth's attacking. Match the night. She did it. <laughs> nice. Get off the couch, cubby.